Hey everyone, it is Crap Key update time. So, um, this is, I don't even know what week it is, eight or something, um, with the Crap Key method using these mason jars. So these are all my lattices and they have just gone crazy, especially in this last week. So I don't know if you can tell just how big these lettuce leaves are. Um, but... We got some really nice lettuce going on here. And just to kind of show you, like here's this massive root system on this one. And the water is about halfway full here. So technically I could probably top it off a little bit, but remember we're leaving that air gap. Let me see if I can take this off. Trying to make sure that we have an air gap in here so that the roots can breathe. So plants do need air, oxygen. Sorry, let's get this going off. So this is the beauty of the cracking method. So it requires no pumps or extra equipment. Um, there's water, the water level up to here. This does have some nutrients in it. Then there's an air pocket so that the plant can get oxygen or the roots can get oxygen because they can drown. If this was all the way full, this plant would drown. And then the little basket that holds everything together. And then this beautiful lettuce plant up top. So very healthy looking. All of these are just doing so great. I have harvested quite a bit off of all these plants. Um, and they're just doing fantastic. So the other thing I did was start some new ones in these containers just to see if a higher volume of water and space for the roots might give bigger plants. So we'll see how that goes. Um, they are just now starting to sprout. So I have some little babies coming up. You can probably see, so I have pak choy, which is like a baby bok choy, spinach, uh, Portuguese kale, dwarf blue kale, arugula, and crisp head lettuce back there. So we'll see how all these do. I did kind of paint, it's kind of hard to see here. I taped off a section so I can actually see the water level um, a little bit easier just to make sure that things are going okay. But these are a little... Um, easier also to just, well, here I say that, to just pop up and take a peek at what's going on underneath. So maybe you can see on this one there's a root already in the water for this little baby plant. And then, of course, you could also just easily pull these up and check to see what's going on. So there you can see the root. So these will go probably for another week or so before I add the nutrients. So just, and some of them, since the plants are taking a little bit longer, um, I definitely want to make sure that, that they are coming up before I add the nutrients. So that's what's going on with Cracky. These lettuces just look fantastic. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Something super easy you could start in your own home. I have links to the equipment I used, but this is definitely a time to get creative and use what you have around your house. So, hence the um, mason jars, but you could also use Dixie cups instead of those mesh pots. Um, so, just encourage you to use what you have, or if you have the ability to order um, a few things, it doesn't take very much to get this going. You can have fresh greens in a short amount of time. And I am using the crack key to experiment with sprouting some um, tomatoes. So here's a tomato. Maybe you can see there's a sprout inside. I don't know if my camera is picking up that. But there is a sprout inside there. So it's the Oregon spring tomato. I have a snow pea in here. Those take a while because the seeds are so hard. Um, and then here's another a Dakota Sport tomato seedling coming up. So those are coming up. I just was experimenting how the crack key would work for seed sprouting. Um, but I also have other things started down here. So these are under my daytime light. So it looks funny 
these are all tomatoes and tomatillos so those are all started I have some spinach here started and coming up and then down here are my onions but they're gonna take a while and then another tray of microgreens are started so they're coming in nice too so we have lots of fresh greens here and some stuff out in the grow tunnel I'll try to catch that later and do an update or a video uh, at all on the grow tunnel and the um, cold frame we have set up but anyways gorgeous lettuces nice and fresh and that's our update on Cracky today so you guys we really appreciate your following us subscribing to our channel you can always check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Tales from the Mutiny and our blog is talesfromthemutiny.com and thank you so much take it easy